Welcome to this video, dear learners. This video we are going to discuss on moment, okay, or moments. So, moment is a topic uh, in physics, okay, that comes in the exam, okay. So, a moment is simply a turning effect of a force about a pivot, okay. A turning effect of a force about a pivot, okay. So, now, um, uh, anything that causes a turning effect, okay? There are many examples, okay? For instance, when you're opening a door, okay? You are applying a force on the door and the door will move, okay? Now the door is attached somewhere and where the door is attached, that's where the pivot is, okay? So there are many uh, examples you can give for moments, even just the use of a bottle opener, okay? All that applies the principle of, what, of moments, okay? So moment occurs when you multiply a force times a perpendicular distance, okay? A force times a perpendicular distance. So a perpendicular distance is simply the distance from the pivot to the force, okay? So the perpendicular distance is the distance from the uh, pivot to the force, okay? So a pivot is simply a point of attachment, okay? A point of attachment, okay? So, uh, we could explain, let's say, a door, okay? So, a door is usually attached to something like that, okay? And then you have the door knob here, okay? So, now, when you want to open the door, okay? What you do first thing is to, you hold here, and then you pull, okay? So, this is the force, okay, that you are pulling. Force is a pull or push. Now, you are pulling the door to open it. So this point where the door is attached, this is where your pivot is, okay? That is your pivot. So now, since that is where our pivot is, where is our distance? So a particular distance is the distance from where you are applying force here to where the pivot is. So this is where the distance will be, okay? So, meaning the moment here will be force times what? Times distance, okay? The moment will simply be force times distance, okay? The distance is from the pivot to the to the force, okay? So let's look at this scenario here. So you have an object attached to something here. So the point of attachment, this is where the pivot is, okay? So you're applying a force here, okay? And this is the distance. The distance should be from the force to the pivot. And it must be perpendicular, meaning it should make it should make a right angle okay should make a right angle okay now in a case whereby okay you have uh, the point of attachment here which is your pivot and you have the object here so since this is the pivot okay this is the perpendicular distance now let's say the force acts in this direction okay here there will be no moment because this force is simply going to push this object okay so here no moment why okay the distance is not perpendicular okay no perpendicular distance okay no perpendicular distance so here there is no moment but in this such a case there's a moment because the force and the distance is making a right right angle okay so the formula for moment is force times the perpendicular distance okay so this is the force and this is the perpendicular distance okay let's look at this example so you have an object arranged like this so this is where the pivot is so it has the perpendicular distance and also the force eh? so you can easily calculate moment force times distance the force is 3 newton times the distance which is 2 meters indicate our answers um, 6 newton meter okay so these are the SI units for, for moment okay so SI unit it is simply newton what newton meter okay it is simply newton eh? newton meter okay so now uh, that is moment okay so now let's look at what the principle of moment is so for 
a body to be in equilibrium, the sum of anti-clockwise moment must be equal to the sum of clockwise moment, okay? So clockwise moment must be equal to anti-clockwise, okay? So now you look at this diagram here. You get a ruler and you hang it by a string. So now you're going to find that uh, once you hang a ruler by a spring, okay, you get a ruler. Okay, let's say you have a spring, eh? I mean a spring, uh, a string. So when you put a ruler here, you find that it can bend like this. The ruler won't be straight. It can bend like this. Eh? But if you hang a, a, a mass or any weight here, a force, okay, find that this side will go up. Okay, you go up like this. If you hang another weight, find that that's when it can become straight. Okay, so it needs to be balanced by the forces for it to be straight from where it is hung. Okay, just needs to be balanced. So in this case here, you have a force, forces that are balancing this, um, this ruler here. Okay, the forces are balanced this ruler. So when it's in balance, okay we say that it's in equilibrium it is balanced so the sum of clockwise moment so you have this force force one balancing on the on the left and this force is balancing on the on the right okay so that is where the balancing is eh? taking place so now when you multiply the moment here, it's called moment one. Eh? So moment one is going to be force one times distance one. Okay. Again, here we're going to have force two times distance what? Eh? Two. So always the distance is from where the force is to where the pivot is. Okay. So this is where our pivot is. Okay. So we can write this as eh? since we're saying moment one, we said this equal. Okay to moment two okay in other words we're going to say f1 times d1 is equal to f2 times what d2 and this is the formula okay that is the formula here okay so let's do some examples the example says if the rule is balanced on a knife edge as shown calculate f okay so the ruler is balanced on the knife edge okay so we know this is where our pivot is okay so this one uh, it's going to be f1 this one is going to be d1 okay this one is going to be f2 and this one is going to be d2 okay so we're going to say moment one which is this side must be equal to moment two which is uh, this side okay so Moment one is this side taking place this side. So we are going to say F1 times D1 is equal to F2 times what? D2. Okay. So now uh, this will be F1. F1 is simply, we're just going to write F. D2, D1, that is 0 0.5 is equal to, okay is equal to f2 f2 that is 100 times d2 0 0.4 okay if you multiply here you get uh, 0 0.5 f is equal to you multiply here you get what 40 you divide 0 0.5 0 0.5 f here is simply going to be 80 80 newtons and that is uh, the value for F, okay? Please, you can watch the video, rewind it if you are not clear to understand this part, okay? So let's do example two. So in example two here, now you have a lot of uh, number of forces. Eh? So now what the demarcation point is the pivot, okay? The pivot is here. So this pivot demarcates the moment this side and then the moment this side, which is okay the other moment so now here you find that this side okay you have how many moments do we have here so you have this a turning effect here this force is causing a turning effect here so this is going to be a moment again here when you take this distance and this moment it 
also causes a turning point so you have another moment here again this one newton together with its uh, distance it makes another moment so you've got three moments here so we're going to call this moment one moment two moment three okay let me repeat that so a force and its distance they make moment one a force and its distance moment two a force and its distance moment three okay so rewind and pause the video to understand this uh, properly okay so now this is going to be this, this is moment one this is going to be force one and this is going to be d1 okay then this is moment two this is going to be force two and then d2 okay this is moment three this is going to be force three and d d3 okay d3 okay so now from here we are going to write okay so now the demarcation is here okay so this is a, a moment okay now so on the left this is the left part you only have one moment on the right part you have two moments okay so you arrange them like this so the moment on the left is equal to okay the moment two plus moment three which are acting on the on the right okay that is how you arrange it so moment one here you get what f1 times d1 is equal to moment two you have f2 times d2 plus moment three you have f3 plus d3 okay now it's just a matter of, of replacing here f1 it is simplified times d1 we're just going to write d is equal to f2 f2 is 3 times d2 d2 is 1 plus f3 f3 is 1 plus d3 which is 2 okay you can simplify this this is going to be 5d is equals to this is 3 plus um supposed to be times eh? this times this one times two that is simply two okay so 5d is equals to 5 okay over 5 over 5 okay so d here is simply equal to 1 what are we finding say distance eh? so 1 meters okay so please like i said again if you watch the video it's not clear for you to be able to understand okay if you have any question leave it on the comment section or contact me on my number on the channel